Welcome to the welding training module. We're going to go over some safety basics in a quick toolbox talk. Don't worry, it won't take long. Once we get suited up, we can get to the arc welding. We'll be going over these posters on the wall first. This poster is the site map overview. Displayed here are exits, safe walkways, fire extinguishers, and hazard zones. You are currently located at the star. This poster will offer some guidance on how to properly weld. We're going to inspect the area, move the tower sections together with the control box, and then weld together the sections. Remember the proper PPE. We'll be going to our assigned locker next in order to get suited up. That's it for our safety rundown. You can always come back here to refresh. Let's put on some PPE. Follow me to your locker and we'll get your PPE equipped. The PPE we want to equip is located inside this locker. Reach out with your hand and use your grab button to pick up a piece of PPE. You may know. Good job! Your controller vibrating lets you know you can flip the mask. Now tap the trigger button to flip it up. Before we start using this wonderful PPE we put on, we should talk to our safety expert. Here is my friend Sam. He's been watching over it's the good technicians to see you, sir. inside of the warehouse. Let's see what he has to hey, say. Hey sir, I have a safety concern. I think some of the workers are not paying attention when walking between the towers. I saw some people on their phones. Thanks for hearing me. I'll keep an eye out that and let you know if I see anyone not Thank paying you, attention. All right. We're suited up, we know a bit about welding, and most importantly, we know what kind of hazards we might be facing in the warehouse. Check your syllabus. We're now going to join our tower sections together. Follow me and I'll bring you there. Remember to try and stay between the yellow lines. Safety first. As you can see, there is a lot of heavy machinery involved in moving tower sections like this. We'll be using this device with the buttons on it to move and rotate the towers, but for now, let's stick to safety. First, we're going to want to inspect in between the tower sections. We want to make sure nothing is in our work area. We don't want anyone getting hurt. Since we're working on this tower, it's okay for us to go in the red zone, for now. We will be welding in there after all. Well, this certainly is a precarious position to be in. We're going to want to make sure nobody is hanging around on the other side of the tower sections. Alrighty, let's start by looking to the right side of the tower. Now let's look at the left side of the tower. Whoa, looks like our buddy Cal is over there, just as curious as ever to the welding process. He's in the yellow lines, so as long as he follows safety protocol, he'll be okay. Alright, we're clear. Let's head back to the tower turner. Teleport over here, and we can start the workday. Now that we know our work area is clear of potential hazards, we can finally combine the segments together. First, I'd like to go over what each button does on the tower turner. These buttons will rotate the tower clockwise and counterclockwise. Use these when you can't quite reach a section of the tower. The buttons with arrows that point left and right will move the tower section along the rails. Be careful with this one. You can press this glowing green button when you are done welding and want to complete the simulation. This button, uh, well, I wouldn't press this button unless you want to learn a hard lesson. It's important to inspect before operating heavy machinery like this, in case of accidents. One more time, just to be safe, check the work area. I'll leave the rest to you. Move the tower sections together using the control box. Whoa, good work. Now to seal the deal, pun intended. Follow me over to the tower. We're first going to make sure the immediate welding area is clear. Look over here on this seam to check for defects in the metal. Again, just inspect along the seam to check for imperfections. Pre-inspection done. Thanks for keeping an eye on the job site. 
All right, let's go ahead and grab our welding torch. Teleport over to the cart. This cart contains the power source for our welder, as well as the torch itself. Why don't you pick up the torch using your grab button and we can get started. Let's go back inside the tower so we can get to work. We're going to learn how to use the welding gun now. Check out this controller in front of me. You're going to want to press this button to activate your welder. Oh no! It looks like you've been blinded. Always remember to put safety first. If you had your welding mask down, this wouldn't have happened. I'll flip it down for now, but be more careful next time, please. Just like that, you'll hear a clicking noise when it's active. The purple arrow will indicate that your torch is ready. Make sure to hold down the button. Great job! Continue doing that along the welding arc. Time to start welding. Fine, you'll notice the little purple welding torch. This is showing you where to weld. Follow the movement shown with your torch, and we'll have this done in no time. That's one segment down. Good job! Teleport back over to the cart, and then to the tower, and we'll continue the welding. Just like when we move the towers together, you're going to have to press the turn up button in order to shift the tower. We want to access the segment. That looks about right. Follow me back to the tower using your teleport laser. Once again, we're going to want to weld along the seam. Follow the purple welding torch as a guide. one segment down. Good job! Teleport back over to the cart, and then to the tower, and we'll continue the welding. Woo! That was quite the undertaking, but we got it done. Fantastic job! Great job today! I hope you learned a bit about safety and the process of welding together a wind tower like this. Target the portal to restart the experience.